What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video I want to give you a little tactical tip and I want to talk to you about fabric paint. I think it's really important to have fabric paint on hand in an SHTF situation because you may have to create some hasty camouflage and what I mean by that is you may have to camouflage different clothing or gear, backpacks, shirts, pants, whatever. You may have to camouflage it for whatever reason because the clothing or the gear is not properly camouflaged or you want to enhance it and make it better. Fabric paint can really help with that, okay? It's literally spray paint for fabrics, all right? And you can buy it at Michaels or Amazon or Joann Fabric, and they're not expensive. And I've been using them for years, and what I use is this company right here, Tulip. They make this uh, fabric spray paint color shot, it's called. And I usually get these two colors. I get the brown cafe and the green verde. And with these two colors here, you can pretty much do almost anything. If you live in an area that has four seasons, you have in the summertime green vegetation. In the fall and spring, you have brown vegetation. The leaves are down and everything is kind of brown. And in the winter, obviously, you have snow, but greens and browns are pretty much prevalent almost anywhere in the world. And, you know, if you have greens and browns on your clothing, you'll be able to blend in or your gear will be able to blend in better. So I want to just show you guys one recent project with this fabric paint. Here I have my Coltac HTP suppressor cover and I have my Silencer Co. Omega 300 uh, underneath it here. So let me just uh, take this off so I can show you guys what I did with this suppressor cover here. So this suppressor cover was actually in multicam and I really don't like multicam. It doesn't blend well here in Pennsylvania at all. It's just too light. It's just not a good color for this part of the country or this part of the world, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I took the liberty of basically camouflaging this suppressor cover with this fabric paint here. And you can see it came out pretty good. I used the combination of the green and the brown. Of course, if I really wanted to, I could spend some more time and, and get crazy with it, but I just quickly just sprayed it, you know, a couple of times, and I'd say it came out pretty good, and this is good enough for a suppressor cover, but I've actually used this paint to camouflage backpacks, and if you guys remember years ago, the U.S. military would issue that really crappy camo pattern. It was like the ACU or whatever. It had that bluish green digital pattern, which is just useless. I actually bought a bunch of gear with that ACU camo pattern because I got a good deal on it. I got backpacks and different types of Molly gear pouches and what I did was I just took this fabric paint and painted it. And I basically turned a junky camo pattern into a really good camo pattern. So, you know, it's a really overlooked prep item. And for anybody who is serious about their home security, their family's security, especially in an SHTF situation, having fabric paint especially a spray paint, okay? You want a fabric spray paint so you can quickly spray things down and camouflage it. And this works mostly on fabric, so you don't want to start spraying your rifle down or anything like that. But just wanted to give you guys this quick tip. Check it out. Fabric spray paint, very useful. 
and I'm telling you you can really get some nice camo patterns with this fabric spray paint you can get some cheap mill serp gear with a crappy camo pattern that nobody wants to buy because the camo pattern sucks like the ACU you can get like molly packs and really good gear and people don't want to buy it because of the crappy camo pattern and you can just spray the fabric spray paint on it and make a really good camo pattern so that's pretty much it guys you know and also obviously in an emergency situation if you need to create some hasty camouflage clothing or let's say you need to camouflage some gear you know that's just really a lifesaver in my opinion so take care may god bless you may god bless america and don't forget the three p's prepare practice and persevere